Here we have a quadratic equation. You can tell it's a quadratic equation because the highest exponent you see is a two. So when we graph this, we know it's gonna be a parabola. And they're asking what the two solutions to the equation are. So we know that that parabola is gonna cross the x-axis in two places. Where the graph crosses the x-axis are those solutions. That's what x equals. So on the state test, the easiest way to solve an equation um, or to at least check your answers is to just graph it. The state test calculator won't graph an equation that has just an x. It has to have an x and a y. So the first step is to just add a plus y. And then we graph it. After you type in the equation using the keyboard, which you can have the keyboard shown in the bottom left corner, there's a button right here that you can click to see the keypad. You can use the buttons on this keypad or just your keyboard buttons um, to type in the equation. After you do, this is what you'll see. Notice up here in the top right, you can zoom in, you can zoom out by clicking plus or minus. You can also click on the page and just drag it left to right, but really, it doesn't matter if we see the whole parabola or not. We just care about where it crosses the x-axis. So if we click on it, it'll tell us those points. It crosses at negative 2 and 1. So in those boxes, you write negative 2 and 1. You don't write the full coordinate. It's just what does x equal when that y that we added to the end of the equation is 0.